We're at the Glades. We have a two bed, two bath unit, 700 square feet in size. Now we think that this unit is great for investment or for own stay. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay. So here are some facts on the property. So the Glades is a 99 years leasehold project that was completed in the year 2016 and it's a total of 726 units that is spread across 9 different blocks here. Now the Glades was developed by Capo Land who are also the guys behind the iconic reflections at Capo Bay as well as 19 Nassim. Now before I show you the rest of the tour, let me just share a little bit more about the location. So the Glades is located along Upper Changi Road and we are just 3 minutes away to Tanah Merah MRT which is on the east-west line and 4 stops down will get you to Paya Lepa MRT where you can interchange to the Circle Line. Now 2 stops in the other direction will get you to Tampines MRT and that is also another interchange where you can get onto the Downtown Line. Now Tanah Merah is also connected to the Expo as well as the Changi Airport. Now for those of you who drive, we are well connected to Bedok South Avenue 1 which will get you to ECP and we are also connected to Simei Avenue which will then bring you to the PIE. We are also close to some good primary schools like Tamasic Primary, Bedok Green Primary as well as St Anthony's Canosian. Now for amenities, there are plenty of food options in this area. You could head over to Bedok Marketplace, East Village, Bedok Hawker Centre, Bedok Food Centre and the popular 85 Bedok Market area. For shopping malls nearby, we have Changi City Point, Bedok Mall as well as Bedok Point. Now we know more about the location, let's kickstart the home tour. Now as you enter the unit, you'll be greeted by this custom designed carpentry on this side that hugs the entire wall line on the right all the way to the common bathroom. So over here on the right, you can see that there's a full length mirror, floor to ceiling. Right over here, there is also a very nice little nook for you to put in your car keys and accessories. It's also very nicely done up with uh, LED strip lightings. There's also more pull out drawers over here. Now as we head on over here, you can see that the carpentry here is really a statement piece and sort of more like a wall feature as well. So it has two objectives, one is to double as a wall feature and the other one is of course to increase the amount of storage you have in this unit. So over here on this compartment is actually where the uh, shoe cabinetry for our owners is and they have also done up very nice pull out drawers helps to keep your shoes neat. Now as we go over to this side you may ask me Chudwe where is the dining area? Well the dining area is very nicely tucked over here so you can just easily pull it out this is actually a very nice small little uh, dining set here for two person and I think it's great because it's uh, right off your kitchenette and you can also use this as like a work from home area because it fronts towards the balcony which we'll check in a bit. Now over along this side, this is where your open kitchenette area is and right here you have your designated area for you to install your fridge. Now as we move forward here, you can see that there are top and bottom cabinets and all the joineries are installed with a soft closure so that is a great touch. So over here you can see that our owners have already done up a backsplash for for easy maintenance and cleaning and right below here is where your sink is with uh, chrome fixtures as well and as we move along here you can see that there's actually a very wide and expensive kitchen top space for you to do your food prep so I would say it can easily fit up to two or three persons at the same time. Now this kitchen is also fitted with an induction cooker hood and hob from Smack and it also comes with an inbuilt microwave. Now this kitchen is also very functional because you already have wall plugs installed right here if you want to put in your coffee machine, rice cooker and blender of sorts. Alright, now let's talk a little bit more about the site plan here at the Glades. Now the entire development is made up of 9 different blocks. Now you will also notice that the distance between the blocks that are facing one another is also quite significant. So that gives the internal facing stacks more privacy and it also makes the communal grounds feel less crowded. Now our unit here is located at block 12 and if you notice block 12 is a slab block that has 10 units on each level, 4 lifts for 10 units. Here at block 12, we are also close to the side gate that leads you to Tanah Merah MRT. We are also an internal facing unit so although we are near the MRT, we do not get the direct track noise which some of the external facing stacks would get. Residents here get full on condo facilities like the Olympic Grand Pool, the Aqua Gym, Wellness Clubhouse, children's play zone with adventure slide, a full size tennis court and even a mini mart for your small grocery runs. Now before we head in to check out the living room and the balcony space, I'd just like to show you this little storage space over here which is very smartly designed. 
It's actually a huge storage room for your unit over here. And it's great, you can see that our owners have put in a very nice shelf as well for you to put in your luggages, your ladders, even your vacuum cleaners as well can fit in here. Now, should you wish to take down the entire cabinetry, that is doable as well. So you can take down this entire cabinetry and you can fit in an island in the middle right here so that your kitchen and your living room space is centered around this uh, island top for you. You can also double up as a breakfast table for you and sort of like a communal space when you have friends over to entertain. Now here in the living room, you can see that the space is actually quite decent. From this wall to the TV line, that is actually about 3.2 meters, which is great for a two bedder in today's context. Now over here, you can also see that our owners have put up some display shelves that are very nicely detailed on the outside by some uh, wood trimmings, which I think is great uh, in terms of contrast from the wall. So here you can see that our owners have fitted in a four-seater sofa, but if you wish to stretch it to a bigger set, you can also do so because you have some space right over there. Now if we look at the TV area, it is also very nicely done with a feature wall that is consistent with the cabinetry that we talked about. Right here you have full sliding glass doors that actually open up to your balcony space. So here in the balcony space, you can see that the size is not too big and not too small. You can actually fit in a four-seater dining set here or even go up to a six-seater. Now right here, invisible grills have already been done. So for those of you with kids, uh, you don't have to worry. And they're currently, it is installed with uh, roller blinds. But what we think is you can actually install the zip track and that will allow you to extend your living room area to a wider space and also to keep the air conditioning in. So as you step into the balcony, now this is actually a very functional space. So there are a few uses which we think you can use this for. First is actually you can deck up the balcony and that will actually allow you to extend your living area and you can fit here with a four-seater or even go up to a six-seater dining set. Another use of the balcony space is that we think you can use this to do your laundry as well as for natural clothes drying. So now let's discuss a little bit more about the floor plan of this place. Here at the Glades, there are a total of 14 different layouts of the 2-bed, two 2-bath two configuration but they can be classified under 3 main types. There is the patio type, there is also the loft type which comes with high ceilings and then there is the standard 2-bed, two 2-bath two type which is the unit we are in today and there are only 83 units of this type and their sizes range from about 580 to 721 square feet. So our unit here stands at 700 square feet which is the second largest configuration for this type. Now from the floor plan, you can see that the layout is very efficient and the spaces are are very regularly shaped so they're either rectangular or squarish it's much easier for you to place your furniture or for you to redesign the use of the space so if you follow me let's head on to the first common room now as you enter the space you can see that it's actually quite generously sized for a common room in a two bed two bath configuration these days right here currently is fitted with a single bed but if you want to fit in a queen size bed you can definitely do that as well so here on the window you can see that it's actually a combination of a picture window as well as a swing window so what's great here is actually the ac latch is on a sunken level and that's great because it doesn't obstruct your views so over here in the common room it is also fitted with an inbuilt wardrobe from the developer so you have two panels of sliding doors over here which is a decent amount of size so here in the common room it is also fitted with a fan come light fixture and of course you have your ac right there now let's head out to check out the common bathroom now as we head on to the common bathroom you can see that it's very seamlessly integrated into this wall feature that was consistent throughout so you have a dedicated standing shower area and what i like about this space is the recessed area here on the side where you can put in some toiletries So now let's chat a little bit more about the prices of the other two bidders here in the area. Now if you're looking for a two bedder unit that is close to the MRT, all of the options here are 99 years leasehold. So you have East Meadows, TOP in 2002, two bedder there is about 861 square feet, $970,000, per square foot pricing to be about $1,130. Casa Mera, TOP in 2009, 947 square feet to 979 square feet, $1.15 million, PSF to be about $1,200. For Optima at Tanamera, TOP in 2012, 700 square feet, $1.2 million, PSF to be about $1,700. You also have Urban Vista which TOP in 2016, 624 square feet, $880,000 per square foot pricing to be about $1,400. You also have Grandeur Park Residences which is the newest kit on the block, TOP in 2020, 624 square feet, $1.18 million and that will bring their PSF to be about $1,900. Our unit here at the Glades, TOP in 2016, sized at 700 square feet and the asking price is at $1.1 million. That would bring our per square foot pricing to be about $1,550. Now earlier on, we mentioned that this unit is good for own stay and for investment. So now let's take a look at the rundown of the financials. 
Based on a 30 years loan tenure at 75% LTV of $1.1 million and a conservative interest rate of 2%, the monthly mortgage for this unit will work out to be about $3,049. Now, if this is an own stay unit for you and your spouse, assuming both of you are below the age of 35, both you and your spouse's CPF contribution is at 23%, you're able to utilize up to $2,760 from your CPF to offset from your monthly mortgage. This means that you will only have to top up about $290 a month in cash to own and live in this property. Now, if you are purchasing this as an investment unit, in 2021 alone, there were about 300 rental contracts recorded here at the Glades, and the average rent for a two bedder here was about $2,800. Now, if you use your CPF for a single buyer, that will come up to about $1,380. Use this to offset the mortgage of $3,049. That leaves you with a balance of $1,669. Now this will mean that a rental of $2,800 will give you a positive cash flow of $1,331 before your MCST fees and property tax. So if you're in a market for a unit for own stay or for investment that's within walking distance to the MRT, I think this unit is a viable option for you. Now, let's head on to the master. So as you enter the master bedroom, you will notice that the storage spaces here have definitely been maximized by our owners. Right here you can see that they have placed in a bed decking that can fit up to the size of a king bed mattress. And right below here, you still have pull-out drawers for you to put in things like your bed sheets, towels and even some bags. So you can see that the storage space actually continues along this wall right here. And our owners have actually installed an additional four panels of inbuilt wardrobe space. Now, should you decide to take down this wardrobe and build in a feature wall and put in a TV in your master room, you can do that as well. We already have the quotations ready for you when you come by to view the unit. So here along on the side of the built-in wardrobe, there's actually a small mirror and drawer area for you to do your makeup. Uh, right before you exit your master. So over here on my left, you can see that you still have two panels of sliding wardrobe and it goes all the way up to the ceiling as well. So now, let's check out the master ensuite. As you enter the master ensuite, you will notice that the size is very generous and you have a floating vanity design here with storage spaces right on the bottom as well as additional storage spaces right above behind the mirror. Now as you go into the standing shower area, you will notice that it's cladded with these stone-like ceramic tiles which makes the space look more luxurious. Additionally, on the side there, you can see that it is similar to the common bathroom. You have a recessed area for you to put in your shampoo and body wash, which I think is very convenient. So lastly, let's discuss a little bit more about the future developments of this area. Now in terms of development in the area, the Changi region is already in the midst of development with the up and coming 5th airport terminal. Now there's also the expansion of the Changi Aviation Park to attract more aviation related industries. On top of that, the government has also announced that there could possibly be a waterfront district at the Changi Ferry Terminal. We also have seen the Changi area attract a lot of tech companies to set up their offices here as the government aims to create an innovative lifestyle district with the establishment of SUTD as well as the Changi Business Park. So thank you for staying with us through this home tour. Once again, to recap, this was the Glades. We are three minutes to Panamera MRT Station. This is two bed, two bath, standing at 700 square feet and asking price is at $1.1 million. Now, if you want to take a look at this place in person, contact our listing manager. And as always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and follow us on all of our socials. We are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And once again, my name is Chin Wei, Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. I keep saying things like that. Oh. Ayo. Alright, so now let's discuss the uh, Okay, let's go, aircon. Okay, let's not talk too much. Let's just let's just get straight to the point. Get on to the common Ken. At the same time. Okay, very good, very good. Done. Yeah!